Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face of makeup. I'm trying to use as much of my Hourglass products that I have. I just bought these two eyeshadow palettes. I'll show them to you real quick. I've got, this one right here is Vista. Look how beautiful this is. These are the graphic eyeshadow palettes. This is beautiful. And then I used this one today. This is the graphic in Myth. Might want to open it up. <laughs> this one, it's an all matte palette. Beautiful. I had a comment asking for an hourglass tutorial. I knew I was getting these, so I thought I'll grab all of my hourglass out of my drawer, see what I can put together, and just do a full face tutorial and try out some new shadows. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, just keep watching. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in the shade Buff. I'm just going to start by applying this to the cheeks I'm using my Linda Hallberg cosmetic sponge to blend this out. I'm currently in the middle of trying out some new Becca under eye products. So I won't be showing you guys like the concealer, like me applying the concealer, but that's just because I don't have any hourglass concealers. <laughs> so if you are curious as to what's going on underneath my eyes, check out the Becca, I'm using this, this guy right here. So it'll be up before this video. So if you're wondering what I did, just check out that video. It's been a while since I have used this foundation. I forgot how much I like it. I really like this foundation. This is where I'm gonna click off for a second. I'll be right back. I am using the Tarte Shape Tape underneath my eyes, and I'm gonna use Hourglass Diffuse Light on one side and then the Becca Powder on the other. But I'll be back, I'll tell you anything I put on my face and we will resume. Okay, I am back. All I've done is my concealer and set it. I used Hourglass Powder on this side. We tried something new over here, but now I'm gonna go in with my Chanel Powder and this Delium 974 and powder and set the rest of my face. I'm using a matte powder because I'm using so much glow that I want at least my set to be matte. If you have textured skin, pores, thing like that, but you really want a glowy look at the end, you can use something matte to begin with and then just add in the glow. I'm sure a lot of you are like, well, duh. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm not sure if I wanna go with luminous bronze light or nude bronze light or like a mixture. I might just do a mixture. I'm going to start off with Luminous Bronze Light. Tom Ford Bronzer Brush. I'm just going to warm up the skin. And now I'm going to use Nude Bronze Light as a slight contour, but not, not really, <laughs> but kind of. <laughs> I'm going to use a Delium 944. And just apply this down here. I have three different options for blushes. I have Mood Exposure, one of my favorites, and then Diffused Heat, also love that one. I don't wanna make this one work so bad. This is a new one, this is Brilliant Nude and is the Strobe Lighting Blush. But I think I'm gonna try this again one day when not on camera, because I feel like it just emphasizes pores. I don't know. So, I wanna do this one. I I'm, I'm feeling this. So Diffused Heat and a Kylie number three. I love this blush. It's been a while since I've picked it up though. Obviously the best highlighter from Hourglass in my opinion and one of the best out there is this little palette here, the Metallic Strobe Light. But you guys see me use this all the time. I kind of want to dip into something that not a lot of people actually like, but I do. This is the Brilliant Strobe Light. I like this a lot. I know a lot of people don't, but I'm gonna put it on. LH306. This is one of my favorite just subtle highlights. I don't understand why people don't like it. I know a lot of people say they're glittery. I mean, it does have a little bit, but I, I don't know. I guess to each their own. And I forgot to put bronzer on my nose, so we're gonna have to do that. I'll do it off camera. Just know that I'm doing it. Now we're gonna put a little bit of Brilliant Strobe Light on the nose. I'm sorry if you guys notice like lighting changes and stuff. It's all because I have a window behind me and when things start to get darker and brighter, it changes things, so I apologize. I'm going to buff over everything using this. This is Luminous Light. This is one of their ambient lighting powders. I've never used one of these for the buffing technique. So we're gonna do it today. Now I'm gonna use my La Mer brush.
Now, I know this is what you guys are here for. <laughs> These beauties right here. Oh my goodness, I just got them in today. <sighs> Do I feel like a soft look or a dramatic look? I feel like I want a soft look today. Yep, I'm gonna go in with this one. I'll report back on this, but this one here is called Myth. It's an all matte palette. I wanna try this. MAC 217 and the second shade in the palette. And this is the Natural Hair 217. Do not worry, if you ever hear me talking about the 217 on this channel, it is the Natural Hair version. I love this shadow shade. I could like just do this, go underneath my lash line and be done. I'm putting this all over the lid and then working it up into the crease for a all over wash of color. I'm going to build this up a little bit even though I don't feel like it's completely necessary. I just want a little bit more oomph, especially on the lid. Thelium 781, the same shade. I'm just buffing this underneath the lower lash line. Same MAC brush and the fourth shade in the palette. I'm gonna pop this on the outer half of the outer corner and then start working this into the crease and blend upward a little bit. So I'm not bringing this all the way to the inner corner, just about here and buffing up to kind of give that smoked out effect. These, I'm impressed. I'm really liking these so far. I mixed the second and third shade. I'm just gonna run this right along here just to help clean it up a little bit. Delium 781 in that fourth shade again. I'm putting this on the outer three quarters of the under eye. Delium 776 in the last shade in the palette. I'm gonna pop this on the very outer corner here. Just kind of making little tapping motions and then soft circular motions to slightly blend that out, but I don't want it to go up too far. Back in with the 781 and I'm just popping that shade on the very outer corner of the lower lash line. I'm gonna dip into the Vista palette and I'm just gonna take that very first shade and I'm gonna pop it on the inner corner. I'm really using a light hand and kind of blending it out because it is a shimmery shade but it's slightly darker. So I don't want it to be too dark on the inner corner. And take Brilliant Strobe Light and I'm just gonna pop this at the brow arch. You could use the matte shade in the palette if you wanted to instead, the very first one. All right, you guys, I finished with just mascara on my lashes and then I don't know what I was thinking. I meant to put this on, on camera and I didn't. <laughs> so this is the Hourglass Confessions Ultra Slim Lipstick in the shade I'll Never Stop. It's the only one I have, but this formula is amazing. I am actually really enjoying my makeup today. I'm not going anywhere. I'm kind of sad about it because I really like this makeup. I really, really do. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, this palette at least right here, 100% would recommend. Love it. I'll have to try the other one to tell you guys for sure. But this one, I really i am impressed. I like it a lot. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you did by giving it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.